Hello everyone, welcome to the show. It's uh, more than happy. First of all, happy new year. Hope new year to mevuka mwaka poa. We are more than happy to have you with us. The show is the identity of my host, Samuel Mangi, and today we have... Eh, can you call me Miss Kwanza? Happy New Year, guys. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Mko salama. Very. Muli vuka mwaka vizuri. Kabisa. <coughs> From my far left, mm -hmm. Alvin Mutunga. Yes. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Mko salama. Kabisa. Mini kufresh. Uh huh. Mko salama. I'm new. You're new. Yes. Okay, so we will get to that. <laughs> <laughs> You're new, Happy. Next to him is eh VP. Poa. Mko salama. Naitoa. Naitoa. Welcome back to Thank you. How will you come up? And you look up. Due to no one, no Amen. Eston, mm -hmm. Karibu. Asanta. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. Gazalama. Kabisa. And you can you to come to the invitation of Kula and Yingi Kumuka Makabana. Kidogo, uh, Mahalle and Papa will get ready to look up. Hunger is an hunger is an Karibu Nisana, guys. Karibu Nisana. Now, uh, to have you back at home and show you interact with us on our social media platforms, that is on Facebook. Hope Channel Kenya on Twitter at Hope underscore Kenya. You can also find me on Facebook, that is Samuel Mangi, on Twitter at Sami Mangi. Also on Instagram, Hope Channel Kenya. Interact with us. And in Mwaka, to my to change a bit kidogo. <coughs> I got a big Bible after HT na SN Kuningilea Pastoria, a woman's Bible. Now I have a bigger one. So what I say, a what big one like in James of Action. It is worth doing your ministry full. This is what we call being serious. Being full. Yeah. Nikotusa. Mejaribu. Bado jafika lakini mejaribu. Hey. Kwani kuna kubwa kweli koi? Eston bana. The content is not in the size of your Bible, but in the size of the message from it to your heart. Amen to that. Now, to the topic of discussion, new year and new year and mission. First of all, one thing that I like about New Year, in the time in year, was say we are always energized so much. It's like it's like you didn't go through 2017. So to say, 2018 is mwaka niyango. Indi mwaka yani sa mwaka wa Sometimes we do this. When last year, what happened? Mushay go through that phase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, it, it happens in almost every year, especially in January. Mm -hmm. now, it's the same month in Yotan Samanga Bosco Sota Nime Sota. Mm -hmm. January may change from calendar. Mutu Mutaki no calendar. The first thing I change you could Nja January. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Now, of course, Kama Kunatoliko, ma, ma, ma carnivores. Mm -hmm. Indo Mwezo Kua, vegans. Vegans. Mm -hmm. Siko not sabu by, ya. Not by choice. <laughs> not by choice. <laughs> Niko sabu yende umwe. Circumstance. 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 Mm -hmm. A friend of mine, alikuwa nasema, iyo yende umwezi yenye, kama uh, from December, ulikuwa nakula, nakula kuku. Sindio? Mm -hmm. Alafu, by the time nifika January, unakula chakula ya kuku. Uh -huh. Kwa sabu, hapo uh, kumekua na transition ngini major. Mm -hmm. From kukula nyama, but then one thing that you can say is January is going to be mob. And true. it's one of the longest months. Is it? Uh, can you say it's because ni joto mesota ama ni genuinely yo muzi na wangarifu? Kitu nazasama jua January, uh, niki kompetu na December. Kononga na some correlations because in December, <laughs> watu wana tembeleana. Mm -hmm. In January, watu wana tembeleana. But for different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> in December, watu wana tembeleana because watu wana kutana. Mm -hmm. In January, when I tell you, to do landlord and mefunga mlango yako. So the way they are going to just have to go and like visit other people. I even I hope I'm not seeing you soon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can you say uh, about January? January um, is essentially logically the longest month, mm -hmm. not in terms of count of days, but in the way the activities outline themselves. Mm -hmm. People are coming from a holiday and immediately jumping into a fast schedule. Kama ulikuwa na for like for example for the high school students students. Yes, they a had whole two, months. two months. From October, October, November, December. Uh -huh. Then you're telling this student tarembili ukodarasani. Tarene kuna entry exam. Tarene kuna entry exam indexing. So <laughs> and then for a parent, it even becomes tougher because you are from taking guys through a holiday mm -hmm. and then the next week the very next week unaanza kushughulika na mambo ya school fee mm -hmm. transport 
and other things. You know, mm -hmm. to you as a parent, it will be heavy. To you as uh, someone who, who is a guardian, but then one thing that you cannot have, uh, 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 afford kulenga me the year that was 2017 there's something mm -hmm. there's some um, things that stood out for you mm -hmm. one thing that mimi it stood out for me in a wrong way ni slave trade in Libya. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and you kitu in a ban that until um, in this century, there's still something of that sort. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that stood out for me, but in a wrong way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that stood out for you in 2017? Uh, of course, there are those things which stood out for me uh, in a good way, some in a bad way. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I would also comment on the issue in Libya. Uh, it was so sad seeing uh, people who had gone to seek refuge in Europe. Our black uh, brothers. Our black brothers uh, being caught and uh, transmitted the self slave trade. Uh, people being sold, but I am glad that uh, the United Nations decided to make uh, movements to come and deal with that. Uh, on a lighter note, and I think uh, the silver lining to 2017 is uh, some of the representation that the church got was actually really good. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also saw uh, the judiciary being able to stand up mm -hmm. and stand for truth, which I think is something that Kenya really needed at, at that time, mm -hmm. which is something which is very commendable, I have to say. Mm -hmm. uh, I also believe that uh, the peace that, that was in 2017, uh, despite all the thoughts that there would be violence, despite all the ideas that there would be chaos, uh, God had been faithful, Amen and that's what the Lord has brought us. Mm -hmm. Amen to that. And that, this is going to be on a light note. <laughs> one of the most epic, uh, last year witnessed one of the most this is, a, I, I, again, in a late note, one of the most epic journey mm -hmm. of the Nazarites moving from Egypt <laughs> to Canada. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is in a late note. What, what, stood, what stood out for you in 2017? A lot of things stood out for me, but mm, especially let me just... They are not so nice. They are bad, but they okay. stood out for me. Mm -hmm. um, I witnessed uh, tear gas on my side. So uh -huh. I had to that like, is run. hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> to run. The second one, the state of the country has been really bad. So, mm -hmm. like some of us, our studies, we were supposed Lecturers to... Lecturers could strike. Yeah, to a well, at Malizi, <laughs> I get. <laughs> uh, see, Jali, everything good happens. Everything happens <laughs> for the good. good. Uh -huh. Those who love the Lord. True. Maybe yeah. this year, and you, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Alvin. What stood out for you? I think for me, it was 2017 was pretty intense. Mm -hmm. I must say, most things on my bucket list got a tick. Hey, mm -hmm. so uh -huh. you know We'll get to that. Uh -huh. About resolutions, I know we'll yesterday or the other day people made several resolutions mm -hmm. just after crossing over. Mm -hmm. But 2017 was pretty much marked with a lot in, in terms of religious growth. In terms of social growth, especially, mm -hmm. and financial growth, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, apoko financial <laughs> growth uh, <laughs> for none of that. <laughs> you know, something that I could say, 2017 also epic because 2017 was the year that the identity started. Oh, oh yeah. And we got to sure. interact with, please, Tafadali. Yes. On Ghana, in social media, you need to, you need to know what you think about it. Jeez. What stood out for you in 2017? What, what, what is that? What, what are some of the things that you can clearly say, like, God has enabled me? Uh, to, to, to like register this for 2017. Personally, I would say the identity was one thing that was, uh -huh. was amazing. Mm -hmm. But then, equally, you can't, you can't go without saying 2017 had its ups and downs. You've mm -hmm. mentioned about political, mm -hmm. our political Appeals, spheres. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, also we can clearly say that the political sphere had a major effect to our economy. A major economy. Impact, yeah. And also, I can say that this was a month that our faith, this was a year that our faith was put to test. Mm -hmm. And also, that, that is not the end of our faith being put to test. Because mm -hmm. I believe we cannot be, tear, we cannot be watermelon Christians. True. Mm -hmm. We have to put our faith always on toes. Yeah. That was the year that was in 2017. Was, yeah. Last week, uh, our editor, na kutukri. <laughs> our editor, Sally, thank you. For the laugh, the laugh moments that you gave us on the recap show and the good times that we had on last year's last year's season of the identity. One of the most interesting things is in happening in Mwake Kianza and people have new energies. 
mkoa carry from 2017 to 2018 or rather katimbe amaliza crisis sako zile za asa next year <coughs> for student next year na 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 inua grid zangu mm-hmm. you know kwa ile kwa kampo this time ni ma distinction do distinction you know such energies in akwanga interesting personally i find it to be cliche but i have my own reasons now that the end last week this week me to my even family sit down in in the family table probably in supper or something and akwa zile za now alvin what is your new resolution for example alvin yes what is your new resolution oh i thought you were giving an example fine with you yes <laughs> <laughs> now when we were ending the year we mm-hmm. sat with my family and one thing was clear that everyone wants to grow now my new year resolution would be to increase in net worth mm-hmm. faith worth and academic wise hey, amen yeah niko na swali ya kuuliza hapo eh utawalini oh now hebrews 11 says <laughs> now faith is the substance of things hoped for so let us hope for it yeah. that was on a light note and that is a coded message <laughs> amen <laughs> you know, okay so yeah we ni ni mm-hmm. resolution yako ni ka gani hivi hey kwanza nilipewa motivation na slide nitaandika kitabu <laughs> amen to that uh-huh. amen uh-huh. to that uh-huh. it can so uh-huh. uh, lafu eh hey, na hope to set was in to malize shule ya mhm eh yani ni tena biashara i grow hey amen wow hey. biashara i grow to ndike vitabu <laughs> <laughs> the energy is real it's real yeah. <laughs> to not to not have the imo ka to exploit yeah aston uh, i think mimi ndo sijakuwa serious sana na <laughs> my new year resolutions mm-hmm. mine are pretty basic but anyway uh, one of my new year resolutions ilikuwa ni konde ni kimbinge <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah keep it real bro yeah. keep it real Majora, your dreams are valid December ni leske donga no shape December eh uh-huh. uh, chance stock uh, sindio, fura nona January kwe haribu yeah. mwili si ndio so mm-hmm. January acha ikwe gym kiasi mm-hmm. uh, kijana akonde <laughs> I, uh, apart from that I also want to increase on my net worth mm-hmm. my networks mm-hmm. and I believe uh, I also see myself going a bit into ministry mm-hmm. and faith work just as mm-hmm. Alvin mentioned I think the first thing that I should be looking at looking at God first. Mm-hmm. Amen to true, that. True, true. Mimi I've had a bad experience with the new year resolutions. Mm. This is an honest confession. Mr. Danganya. Mm-hmm. For the longest time you can create resolutions. Mm-hmm. Come April zero accomplishments. Uh-huh. Last year I had a, a new year resolution that I'm still carrying on this year. Mm-hmm. My resolution was one. Mm-hmm. God Amen. Amen. That simple and I can say God has been faithful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even if it's things it can happen. Uh-huh. And I also uh, don't don't use my method but then use yours. Write your plans down. Kona resolutions zako. But me yangu ni moja. God. Mm-hmm. Of which God has been faithful and that's what I'm carrying on again to this year. But then one thing I have to ask. I'm sure everyone of us has had an experience of having these 21 lists of of your of your resolutions. Mm-hmm. Afadhali we Alvin zako zina work mm-hmm. zako you have accomplished the last year ndio mm-hmm. zime happen mm-hmm. asa kuna ule mtu kama mimi enye resolution zetu zi work uh-huh. what is wrong with ni mimi ndio shida ama resolution ndio kuna shida <laughs> wini ile za kwa ni wote <laughs> <laughs> guy wini wacha kuwa hata uh, wacha kuwa hata wini <laughs> like but maybe you mm-hmm. just make unrealistic ones unrealistic yeah maybe unataka kuwa billionaire na hata una hasol so on okay. your realistic so like in, if in case you make the resolutions and goals mm-hmm. you're supposed to make realistic ones then it's in its work hata kama una put mungu kwanza nafaa kwa realistic at the end of the day okay aston mm-hmm. what is this whole issue of require realistic you, the, you cannot tell me that i'm not realistic some other could know jaguar this year You see the thing is uh, there's what we call positive ambition mm-hmm. and there's something which we just call vain ambition. Uh, you might be having ambition uh, that you want to do something and you know that you have the strength mm-hmm. and the willingness and the capacity to do it. Mm-hmm. For example, if you want to start a business, you might say that this new year I want to start a business and you, you you know that for you to start a business you have to save money, 
uh, you have to uh, look at the market if there's a market for whatever you want to uh, start trading mm -hmm. and with all of that you'll be able to see that there are things which are needed such as commitment mm -hmm. if you don't have commitment towards achieving uh, any goal that you have you cannot be able to uh, reach that goal mm -hmm. the problem with us failing with our uh, goals, plans. our resolution to now and, and our goals for the years. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes, some things are beyond our control. For example, and I'm not shitting out at women. you uh, <laughs> uh -huh. you are single. Namko na sama team waka lazima niyoe. Apo apo na enjoy. Gumu kidogo, gumu kidogo. Tricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, 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 because because that, that is beyond your control. Mm -hmm. But there are things which are within your control, such as mm -hmm. uh, living a healthier lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, just changing your dietary uh, plan, uh, exercising more, drinking more water. Mm -hmm. I think we all know new start, mm -hmm. nutrition, mm -hmm. exercise, water, and all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, that is within your reach. But you also have to have commitment towards that. Mm -hmm. You cannot yes. just... I'm yeah. happy we mentioned uh, something about commitment. Mm -hmm. Alvin, mm -hmm. you have something to say? Yes, there's a point you said mm -hmm. in your resolution. You only had one. One. It moves me. Amen. Just think about it. Uh -huh. God has a way. He says in Ecclesiastes 3.11, he has a way of making everything beautiful. Wow, the new Bible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> 3 verse 11. Let's take some time. I'm, I'm, I'm still getting acquainted with this Bible. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. So, so he's, it says here that God has a way of making everything beautiful. And not only beautiful, but in its time. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I may have a goal or a resolution mm -hmm. and I seriously fail because I have not involved he who mm -hmm. knows how to make everything beautiful. beautiful. Let me read it for you. Yes. I have to make good use of this big Bible, uh -huh. this humongous Bible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, three verse, 11, verse 11 says, yeah. He has made everything beautiful in time. his time. Thank you. Just that is enough. Okay, sir. Yes. sir. In his time. In his time. So I may say I want to, you know, grow fat, not fat. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no offense. But but ukisema uh, fat, ukisema tu kuongeza. You increase in size. I may say I want to grow in in, in my net worth <laughs> by April, mm -hmm. and God wants to bless me in December so mm -hmm. that you know things can work out. Mm -hmm. So in his own time, mm -hmm. if I involve him and I trust him, mm -hmm. I will not have trouble with. A resolution not being met because mm -hmm. he has a plan for me. God's time is the best. Best time. Hey, at a, sometimes we would perceive that he's getting late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, most of us think that uh, God do chelewa. Mm -hmm. And there's a speaker who umwele nikareje kasema wakatunana me chelewa. Now that is the opportune time. That is. Ino tema na kujaka katumi fika pako edge. Wakaribu kudona ni sasa you've given up. Now apa pali na give up. Apa ni sasa mungo na kujia. I'm not saying that mungo jia. Yele sasa pa ni God ni me give up sasa. You cannot mock God. Is it that kind of God? But then God's time is the best time. That's amazing. Now. So that means you have to be realistic about our our resolutions, new resolutions. Okay, for example, kuna zile vitu ni kwa achieve last year. Ni mezi push forward to this year. Is it that is that being realistic? It is still part of being realistic. It only depends with if you are in the capacity of being able to do it. There are there are goals that people have which go beyond a year. That's why when whenever an employer meets you, an employer might ask you. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they may ask you in one year, they might ask you in three months, in, in a week's time. Uh, it is important for you to understand uh, that a, a year is just a period in time, it's just an interval in time. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to be able to plan even up to eternity. You yeah. should be able to say that, that uh, if I die, hashtag Tuanza Kondika will. <laughs> it's very good. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 uh, I, I I really like what Alvin has shared. Mm -hmm. uh, Ecclesiastes chapter three verse eleven. It reminds me also of. Uh, it must be Matthew six thirty three, mm -hmm. which says, "Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all righteousness, and all oh. these things shall be added unto you." Mm -hmm. Because uh, you might be having plans for everything. In fact, I, I like the way Christ mentions that uh, it is the heathen who think about what they're going to wear tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they are the people who think about food, what they're going to eat. But when you seek the kingdom of heaven, all these things are just going to be added. So, <laughs> so it's only heathen who worry about tomorrow. So me, since I don't want to worry, I do not have a resolution. 
So am, am I wrong? So uh, have I done a big sin not having a resolution? <laughs> no, it's not sin. Uh -huh. But it's it's proper to always plan, to mm -hmm. have a vision to look at. Because mm -hmm. life ni ku about preparations. Mutuali sema, ato kiwa primary, you always prepare for, as in, exam takalia three days for the whole of primary. Mm -hmm. So you have to plan for your year. Mm -hmm. And how will you plan? You should have a vision and a goal that you're looking forward to. Even can you resolution? Because Jack was kiwak, omba kwanza kabla umeke, maybe Jack okay, omba, how to find me. Una faku kachini, una omba, una biya mungu, this year I just want to achieve this, if it's according to your will. Mm -hmm. But because kwa sabuki la kitu nafanikanga for the good of those who love God. Yeah. Alvin, kwa mdo kwa experience, hame omba, lakini resolutions haki ziko unrealistic, how come ziko realistic, ziko unrealistic in 20 years time? Lakini sasa, ato tumumbia omba, these are the resolutions that are about this go evil. Because there's still a possibility, but that by April, at a come, I'm going to zero achievements. True. So from then, no one is going to ask us to slide in a month or two will end. Uh huh. I just want to live in 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 the end of it. Uh huh. After all, you cannot control it. So to not do any of it. So what what how do you approach it from that angle? There's there's a difference when Christ was mentioning about the lilies of the valley and the fowls in the air. Has a struggle about tomorrow, mm -hmm. but they find food. Mm -hmm. When he was talking in that regard, Anamanisha, that they do not struggle that to forget who is their creator. Ninaweza kwa na resolutions ambazo they are not realistic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can think I want to, you know, own a twenty billion dollar building, mm -hmm. but says yata kwa mfuko, I do not have. Above a thousand bob, you know. <laughs> very, un <laughs> very unrealistic. Uh -huh. But then, to such, you know, everyone has their own time of things. Mm -hmm. If I I would want the year to slide down, mm -hmm. then that would be like you know surviving. Mm -hmm. You, know, you can either living. live, you can survive, mm -hmm. or you can exist. <laughs> So uh -huh. depending on how well you are, you have to choose between the three. <laughs> yes, you either live, survive, or you exist. Uh -huh. But if 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 it happens that your goals or my goals are not as realistic for this year, I would want to make something, as Eston said, and Winnie noted rightly, that everything for its timing. Maybe for this month, maybe for next month, you know, something to keep me going in the meantime while I wait for the hand of the Lord. I'd, I'd just like to, to add and give this example. Uh, one, one of the people I, I am usually inspired of is a guy called Thomas Edison. Mm -hmm. uh, they say that he's the person who was... Most people say that he's the person who invented the bulb, but he's not the person who invented the bulb. He was the person who was able to sustain uh, an electric bulb for a while, for a long time. Mm -hmm. Thomas Edison uh, tried a thousand times to make uh, to make this bulb stay on for a long time, mm -hmm. he failed all those thousand times. He when on his a thousand and first try, that's when the bulb worked. Mm -hmm. If he would have reached, uh, if he had just done the first try, uh, okay. and and and, and a choke, he wouldn't have made any progress. We wouldn't have been where we are right now. Mm -hmm. If he would have uh, stopped after ten tries, after a hundred tries, after the thousand tries, uh, what would have been of uh, his invention? The thousand and first tries was what was most important. Uh, what he said is that through all of these things, he was learning. He learned a thousand different ways of how not to make a bulb. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It should be it should be uh, a lesson that we also take up, uh, even as we are coming into this new year. That uh, whether we have goals or not, uh, as long as our experiences. Uh, or, uh, or, or if you're having obstacles towards achieving experiences, we should see them as lessons mm -hmm. towards us to, uh, that guide us towards being able to achieve our future goals. In short, every time we dunda, get back up, get back up, get back up, push up, exactly. push up, go and on. they let you go on, go on. It does not matter how many times. Because mm -hmm. you know what he says, uh -huh. I will be with you always. Okay. Ma Matthew twenty-eight. I'll be with you until the end of until the age. Until the end of the age. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
of ambition. You know where you are at in life. You see where you want to be at, but then you're not thinking of now and what you're going to have in the next 10 minutes or probably in the next six months. That's why I guess we go wrong when you're writing our, our new resolutions. I guess that's one thing I want to, uh, to, uh, uh, to encourage, rather employ all our viewers who are busy writing up their own resolutions. First of all, review what happened last year. Mm -hmm. Re review what happened last year. Look at where you're at in life. And also one other thing. I think this is something that, that in effect most of us. We compare ourselves. We compare between each other. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Ah, na wini ya kwa Ah, we also have a friend mwenye, hopefully atakuja in an next week's edition. Mm -hmm. Sylvia. Last year, Boniface Sagini alitua book. <laughs> Thrills and chills. You know? Uh, any Boniface asha andika book. Sylvia asha andika book. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mina andika. Why, why? <laughs> Ninafani na life ya. I know. I, I, have, I have a schoolmate uh -huh. who is driving. I mean, wonderful. Bana. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. Najilis and I find in a life young. Yeah, so I think <laughs> about that. <laughs> but, yeah, uh -huh. sorry. Yeah. He has a schoolmate who drives. Mm -hmm. I used to have a classmate who owned a house, who owned a car, and had a wife. Ma, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so, where are you in life? I think, yeah. that also, I think that is affecting You know, us. I find comfort in the statement that says, I. Life is not about comparison and competition. Mm -hmm. It's about cooperation and coordination. Hey, you may your story up. Yeah. Guys, please be with us as you're going to the talent segments. Join us in the next part. We're going to talk about mission. Be blessed. to the small the glory in the all it's God and God's alone God and God alone reveals the truth of all we call our own and the best and worst of men could change the master's plan and it's God and God's alone God and God alone is free to take the universe's role let everything that lives Reserve its truest praise for God and God alone. God and God alone will be the joy of our eternal home, and He will be our one desire. Our hearts will never tire for God and God alone. God and God alone is free to take the universe's throne. Let everything, let everything that lives. Reserve its true space for God and God alone. Let everything, let everything that lives reserve its true space for God and God alone.
My friend John Ago is telling me to repeat what Alvin said. It's not about comparison and competition. Correct. It's about coordination, coordination and cooperation. And cooperation. <laughs> I hope that you've been blessed with that talent segment. Karibu Sunday. This time we're going to talk about mission. But before we get to the mission, Eston, the thing that you had that you wanted to say before to Martin the break. Yes, uh, I, I believe it, it's expedient for me to mention this uh, that when you're coming up with your new year resolutions, it's also good to have someone to guide you when you're writing them down. Mm -hmm. And even beyond gu uh, guiding you during the writing phase, uh, a person who is able to uh, see you through all these steps that you're going to take. Uh, it is usually very hard for anyone who has ever hit a gym, for example. Uh, when you go in, into the gym and you exercise uh, yourself, hey, you I find... Hey, continue that spirit. <laughs> continue <laughs> that point. <laughs> My brother, you're pointing a koja vizuru. It's very hard uh, for you to like go through a, a, a full regime. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, when you are there with someone who's, who can act like a, like a mentor, mm -hmm. someone who's able to motivate you, mm -hmm. you find that you're able to go longer. That's why they say that if you want to go far, uh, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, Go with many. Sawa. Your story to Acha Tinyonga story to Hapu Hapu. Hey, okay, Sawa. Now let's let's progress to mission. I believe all of you have been to mission. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We share on weight. We need to share the mission. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> that is good. Unfortunately for me, it's Jay Commission. I've always looked forward to go for mission. But then one thing that I've been I've always been learning is every time claim to talk a mission, they have a testimony to share. Mm -hmm. They have something to they have it's it's more like when we could you are rejuvenated. Mm -hmm. It's like they've had a, an experience with God. Mm -hmm. Now uh, it it forces me to ask mission in the Alvin. You know, mission. Mm. Mm. Mission. Mm. Mm. Mission. Mm. mission. Aha. That so is what, mission what mission well. is this uh -huh. you're, you're talking about? Now, a mission is uh, in the book of 28:18 of Matthew. You will help us read with your verse. <laughs> the humongous Bible. <laughs> the humongous. Yeah. Matthew chapter 28 verse? Verse 19. We'll begin there. 28 and verse 19 it yes, says yes. go ye therefore go and teach ye therefore and teach all nations teach baptizing them baptize in the name of the father uh -huh. the son and the, and the holy ghost uh -huh. teaching them to teaching. observe all things mm -hmm. uh, whatsoever i have commanded you yes and lo i am with you i am with you always uh, always yes even unto the end of the world yes amen amen so you see we've been sent by our father to go therefore and not only teach but to also baptize. Mm -hmm. So missions are about going out and sharing the love of Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what He has blessed you with, you go out, tell someone about it. Mm -hmm. Allow them to also have an experience of the same sweet taste that you have received. Now, see, Jim Bona, is missions in a Hunger Mob Sun and Watokyo Campo? Yes. What happens in Tokyo Campo? As in, Okyo Campo are both. Uh, April to Nanda, up to Naki to Mara or Lukop Coast. A kite to Upper. We'll go to Kite. No, any look away away from home. Uh, away from home. Uh, a home away from home. Uh, Mara Munga to look up and you come on to Kenya. It's not another crazy, diverse places. Uh, 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 that is when people in campus. What happens? You are cutting out on a talker because it's just catch a trick summer economy mission in Kombali. No one a mission around your place, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. Next one. What happens? I believe that uh, there is the community spirit that is experienced in campus. Mm -hmm. uh, when people are in groups, uh, it is very easy for them to be able to rally together and come and organize and band together and come and organize for such uh, ventures. Mm -hmm. But just as you've mentioned, when people finish uh, campus, you find people usually say that life begins because that's when someone is looking for work. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm going to settle down. And after BB. Said that after Lisha put a BB. Maybe I'll put a BB commission field. Such a same one too. So, uh -huh. so uh, uh, pe pe people's uh, thoughts uh, tend to diverge a little. Mm -hmm. uh, but it does not mean that that is the end of mission for them. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, I, I, I really like that verse. Uh, go ye therefore into all the world. Mm -hmm. All the world uh, also includes your immediate surrounding. Mm -hmm. uh, w w whether you finish campus and you go into your workplace, uh, it, there are people who are in your workplace who are not believers and able to minister to them. 
I really like the story of uh, Philip who was uh, who was able to minister to the Ethiopian eunuch. eunuch. Mm -hmm. uh, Philip was just by the road. He, he, he was not in a specific place with a specific intention of going to preach to someone. Mm -hmm. uh, but he just found someone who was reading, uh, reading uh, a, a, a eunuch who was reading this uh, passage of scripture. And Philip came and interpreted that scripture for him. And that person uh, desired to be baptized. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. Uh, we find people like uh, Peter, Peter who was able to go and preach to, uh, who was able to preach to 3,000 men, mm -hmm. and, and these people are baptized on the very same day. Mm -hmm. uh, missions, uh, a mission field is anywhere around you, and mm -hmm. the importance of going for mission, uh, my brother Richard, mm -hmm. uh, he has mentioned this a couple of times, and it usually gets me to the core. Mm -hmm. He says that uh, 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 when God gave the great co uh, the great commission, mm -hmm. He did not give it as a great suggestion. <laughs> he gave it as a commission. It was a command. Uh -huh. And the reason why uh, Christ gave it as, as as a commission or as a command mm -hmm. is because He knew if this person is able to minister unto another, mm -hmm. it acts like a re-echo in His own pl in, in, in His own yeah. self. Yeah. He is able mm -hmm. to grow more mm -hmm. when He ministers unto others. Uh, I'm happy that you've brought us into the importance of. Going out for mission, mm -hmm. probably when you have something to add to it. experience yeah. itself. Actually, before I just say the importance of mission, I wanted to say mm -hmm. uh, on your earlier asked question mm -hmm. about why people outside don't do mission, it's because they perceive mission as something that is done far away from home. Uh -huh. While mission is, if it's your lifestyle, it will be everywhere, everywhere with mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. In that matter, to you're sitting, you're sitting with someone who is your mission field. In that place of work you're you're, you're doing. You have someone who is your workmate, who is your mission field mm -hmm. in your home. Actually, if you cannot share in your home, it means mm -hmm. that you're not a missionary. Kuna shita, <laughs> mission, Bali, you pretend for two weeks and you come back and be the same old you. So mission mm -hmm. field is always next to you. I'm happy that you said something about Amatatu. Mm -hmm. This is something that most of us uh, happen to, to be doing in Amatatu. Menge mm -hmm. Goje mm -hmm. won accident. I'm <laughs> <laughs> something tragic can happen. Mm -hmm. Instead, we should be just as just as I've said. Mm -hmm. Let us let us make it our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Let us not. One thing that I don't like, by the way, it's it's wallet on a on a gym post. Mm -hmm. You know, like because I believe that is one thing that people sometimes people retract from mission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are people who come and impose their faith on you. Mm -hmm. well, have you have have you have you had that experience? I've had an experience. Mm -hmm. uh, should I mention the root of that matatu? You do not mention <laughs> no. the root of that matatu. <laughs> for their security. <laughs> But just think with me, if mm -hmm. you are seated, you're traveling, going to town, for example, mm -hmm. and someone stands in Amatatu and starts, you know, in the end time, this and this will happen, and that, it is a very good message. Utakufa. But at the end of <laughs> it, unasikia sasa to support ministry ya mchungaji. Mm -hmm. You know, what people start saying is that when will you finish so that we give you your thing, you go out. Uh -huh. yeah. I was touched once when I was on another route, a different route now. Mm -hmm. And someone preached a simple verse, John 3, 15, 16, and 17. Mm -hmm. When he finished, Aliketi Chini, and the passengers were like, we, we love your message. Can we support your ministry? Mm -hmm. Is there a thing, would you want contributions? Mm -hmm. And the missionary was like, no, I'm here for the purpose that mm -hmm. you may be saved. We, uh, we we're not saying that when you're on a teacher, say, watch a teacher. If you even if, if you're relying on that, uh, is that is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. By no but chance. let us let us focus our message on on Christ having mm -hmm. people if, saved. Yeah, yes. than than imposing ourselves and giving out scary. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I believe the gospel of, of Jesus Christ is not that to scare. Mm -hmm. us. Yeah, is that to welcome us in union hope. with Him. True. Now, uh, I. I believe you've, you've had experiences with mission. Yeah. I'm looking for, hopefully, this year, a tender mission. Ah, wow. Please invite <laughs> me. Wonderful. Please invite me for, to gain information. But I believe that there are very many challenges people go through. Mm -hmm. I think that is one of them. True, the yeah. stereotype, where, we, where you have stereotype audiences. Yeah. I think that's yeah. one of the challenges. Yes. Mm -hmm. Probably if you can mention something of it. Yes. And especially if you are wielding a Bible mm -hmm. and teaching someone about the Sabbath mm -hmm. and about end time. Mm -hmm. You have aggrieved souls. 
you have aggrieved so why <laughs> why because someone doesn't want to be told the truth about their salvation mm -hmm. but you see those are the people Christ came for mm -hmm. that is why a church a church is a hospital for sinners mm -hmm. yes Hey. So that we're led to it. bring them in, bring them in, you know. <laughs> yeah. Sister Jaribu. <laughs> Sister Jaribu hapo ni meachia hapo. Lest Aston gets on my case <laughs> about seeing. Yes. Yes. Aston, uh, uh, mm -hmm. This is off the record. Aston yeah. manzo li ningile vibaya manzi. Mm -hmm. And ini mbaka sezi wadu na imbeti sami siwezi imba. As in, Season 1 imesha na badu na imbeti siwezi imba. I was just telling you the truth. <laughs> That was not in love. <laughs> I, 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 I just wanted to comment on, on the issue of the challenges which uh, people experience uh, in the missions. Mm -hmm. uh, one, other, one other challenge, and I think it's uh, a very big one, is there's usually this stereotyping mm -hmm. that people find uh, when people go to formations. Uh, for example, especially when you're, when you're in a large group and you're going for missions, there are people who might... Uh, hold back from coming to the uh, to listen to the message because they believe that he he kundi meja what I don't feel like I'm, 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 I am am I will be integrated with this group mm -hmm. uh, but they fail to understand that that uh, a church group even even the people have gone for mission they are also going into a hospital it's like they are, they, are, they themselves are in ICU it's a mm -hmm. bunch of sinners mm -hmm. looking for grace exactly yeah. salvation wow. exactly yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd like to give my own testimony. Mm -hmm. When I went for my first mission about three years ago, mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you see, I, I, I was full, of, full in the spirit and I was like, man, I just want to go let's and do this. let's yeah. do this. Let, let, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. And when you go there, that's when you realize that you don't, know, you don't even know much. Mm -hmm. uh, your prayer life, you realize that your prayer life has not been consistent mm -hmm. because you could see people praying. You could. You, 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 you could, you could People could come and ask you for prayers, mm -hmm. that you pray for them. Uh, they have been suffering through ABC and D challenges. Mm -hmm. And that's when you realize that yourself, your own soul, needs salvation. Mm -hmm. And I, in fact, got baptized uh, for, in a mission that I had gone Amen. to reach other people. Amen. Amen. Wow. So, yeah. so actually, in mission, some people think that you end up reach out. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it, you get to it's reach in. Reach. in. Yeah. Exactly. As in, the more you share, mm -hmm. the more you, got, you get convinced mm -hmm. with what you say. You know how a shoe brush cleans a shoe? Please, tell us that. <laughs> 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 it, it, it's like, you have any different hair <laughs> No, it's not different. Uh -huh. A shoe brush is dipped in polish mm -hmm. and passes over a shoe. Mm -hmm. It remains with some of that polish, mm -hmm. but the shoe gets clean. Mm -hmm. So in essence, the the, 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 the kiwi mm -hmm. is Christ. Mm -hmm. The shoe brush is the missionary. Mm -hmm. The shoe is the soul to be reached out. Mm -hmm. While you brush it on the shoe, unabaki na kidogo, mm -hmm. and it benefits you. So please go out for mission. Mm -hmm. Don't hold back for any chance. That, so is, an, that is an African proverb. I, lo I love what uh, uh, my church, El, 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 El Odero. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like what he always says. Every time that you go out, and, or rather, every time that you share the word, it echoes back. That's what I was saying. It yes. echoes back. Yes. As in, Cheuna Sema, you get more now, Gets more, to more into you. Mm -hmm. So you get to realize, by the way. Uh, but the one thing I have to say, it, uh, from my personal experience, every time that you share a word, you get more convicted in it. Mm -hmm. True. You know, every time that you share, every time that you get out and, uh, me like saying, throw yourself to the pool. Every time that you get there, you have another experience. You, you, you get another version of presenting it, and that's mm -hmm. how we get to know it spiritually. Probably you could, you could add voice. Oh. And also, another thing why people fear going for mission, I think it's um, lack of knowledge or little knowledge. So mm -hmm. they feel like when they go out there, they won't have something to say mm -hmm. or to stand for their faith for. Mm -hmm. Like if they ask um, a question on a, a particular subject or a particular doctrine, mm -hmm. they will not be able to answer. But I like a certain writer who said that. Just start with that little knowledge that you have, but in a humble way, then during that process, the Lord will teach you and you'll gain more of that. Uh -huh. True, true. Yeah. Wow. Then a, another thing that people fear, wh why people fear going for mission is the fear of rejection. You can go on someone's mm -hmm. door, you try knocking, mm -hmm. and they be like, no, don't come in, or they even pour so for you water, mm -hmm. uh, or they think uh -huh. you're a cult or something. So the fear of rejection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think also Christ also went through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In, 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 his own, in his own home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then he, he faced this all his life. Mm -hmm. I, I also want to say that, in fact, 
Christ made more uh, made enemies to very many people now, mm -hmm. in his lifetime. But then he, it was he was he was doing it out of love. It's not like he's making you an enemy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But then it was after it was after telling them the truth yeah. of how much you need to be in harmony with Christ. Mm -hmm. I think that's something that we, we should also echo. But then the Kunamtata at uh, we have talked about mission and all this stuff. How do we go about it? I'm really I'm I'm Nikona Sexa to go with this mission. We've said Kona challenges, Zico, Takataliwa and all these stereotypes. What is the part of Kwanja? You know? And now now that we're starting the year and the great command mm -hmm. that Christ left us, see it tafadali, it's go ye therefore. Mm -hmm. How do we go about this? Mm -hmm. Alvin. Now you see it begins at go ye therefore. Mm -hmm. Preceding that, I would want us to consider Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. 1 verse 8 it says, yes. But ye shall receive power mm -hmm. after, that, after that the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. is come upon you. Mm -hmm. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both mm -hmm. in Jerusalem mm -hmm. and in all Judea and mm -hmm. in Samaria uh -huh. and unto the utmost part of the earth. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So you realize the first step is receiving power, mm -hmm. the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I will pray for the Holy Spirit if I want to go out for mission. Mm -hmm. He, when he's come, will teach me of truth, mm -hmm. will convict me, mm -hmm. and will comfort me at the same time. Mm -hmm. He will teach me of truth to share. Mm -hmm. He will comfort me when I'm rejected. Mm -hmm. And he will convict me that mm -hmm. I may also be made a whole, made new. Mm -hmm. So the power is from above. I would ask then go out on mission. So if there's anyone wanting to go out on mission, mm -hmm. hold not back, like mm -hmm. I said. Go out. He will supply. Esther, mm -hmm. that's something to add on that. I have been thinking about how someone can be able to help in mission. You see, the problem with people is they think that there's nothing they can be able to do. Mm -hmm. I like the way we have looked at the command. Uh, but people would ask, now what am I going to do in mission? I am not a good orator. I am not good at uh, ministering unto people. I am I am an introvert. Actually, the, the people will be like, ah, Miss mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. they, they look more on their challenges, uh -huh. exactly, on, on their shortcomings mm -hmm. for mission. Mm -hmm. So, so when you go for mission, there will always be a role for you. Mm -hmm. You see, in the mission field, uh, there are people who cook. I was in somebody who cook picker. I was in somebody who cook picker. There are people, we, we need people who are able to control the PA system. Mm -hmm. Someone to just carry uh, a, a, a microphone from one place to another. Mm -hmm. that, that, that is actually saving us all. Mm -hmm. uh, these, are the, these are the most important people. Whatever you do, it, 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 it's not necessary that you have to speak out. Mm -hmm. uh, whether we just go and even hold a mama's hand mm -hmm. to, to, the, uh, to the podium, to the, yeah, to the mission field. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a, a soul that you have saved, mm -hmm. and it is a star that is counted unto you. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there will always be work for you. That's why Christ says that uh, the work is much, but the laborers are few. True. So we should seek to be laborers. Exactly. Partakers of Christ in mm -hmm. his work. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. Winnie, you have something uh, to add? I, I just want Alvin to reread that verse again. Yes, but you shall receive power. Mm -hmm. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in so Samaria. Was, mm. Both in Jerusalem. Where did he start? Jerusalem then? Judea. Judea. Yeah. So you don't need to go far. If you want, you're interested in doing mission, you can start where you are. Mm -hmm. If it's Nairobi, just start there. Mm -hmm. And there are many ways you can do mission. It's, mm -hmm. it's not a must that you just have to preach. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. share that one banana to that person who is hungry. Mm -hmm. They'll be touched. You can mm -hmm. share something like a tract. You don't mm -hmm. have to preach. They'll mm -hmm. go read it and they'll be touched. Mm -hmm. I think, I think that is... I think that is also something that uh, most have most of us have that perception mm -hmm. that uh, mission it's 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 a, it's a lot of work. As in like the who save do who any but then you don't realize that uh, you don't have to do all that. Mm -hmm. Start paliuko. And I think for me, I also want to say that the greatest way that you can preach, or rather, the greatest way that you can sh you, you, you can you can share the word of God, mm -hmm. is you being a living testimony. Mm -hmm. Very true. Mm -hmm. Being a living testimony, true. don't true. fake it. Mm -hmm. Live it. So that if you think that going out there is so hard, 
uh, there's a song that goes if if you can't go out mm -hmm. give out yeah, so exactly. that you can uh, so they can support the poor mm -hmm. going out mm -hmm. if you can't do all that then be the testimony be a living testimony of Christ Alvin, you have something to add? on that point you know I'm surprised you said that you haven't been to missions mm -hmm. yet every Saturday evening you bless us <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah. How many I'm missions? Have you? <laughs> Those are a number of missions if you think mm -hmm. about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. the song says, "If you cannot be the watchman standing on mm -hmm. Zion's walls, mm -hmm. then you can be a faithful Aaron doing what? Holding up, Moses. holding up the prophets." prophets. Uh -huh. so, so, <laughs> <laughs> if you can. Not be the watchman standing, standing high mm. on Zion's walls. You can be like faithful Aaron holding up the prophet's hand. So a simple thing like a smile would do a great impact mm -hmm. to bring someone to Christ. A simple thing like a lunch you bought. Mm -hmm or a fruit you gave. You, you see, it's about sharing the love of Christ. Mm -hmm. If we cannot point people to Christ, then whom are we pointing them to? Amen. Mm -hmm. True. Now that you're coming to a close, mm -hmm. we need to put all this, this new year, this new year mission tool in one bracket and give a closing statement. Mm -hmm. Eston, as we wind up. This new year, have realistic goals. And first and foremost, the most important thing uh, would be put God first in everything. Remember the commission that God has given us. Go ye therefore into all the world, teaching, baptizing, and making disciples, and he is always with us. That is the greatest assurance that we have this year. God is always with you this year. Amen. Um, Winnie. Okay, as we close, I'll just like to mention that whatever resolutions you had, whatever things you had last year and you did not accomplish, just know that uh, according to Exodus 14:14, 14, 14, the battle is not yours; the fight is the Lord's. And whatever you have now, you'll achieve it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Alvin. In Sylvia's book, it is rightly noted that the battle is not ours. Sylvia, lazima kujesho. Lazima. Lazima kujesho. And on that point, in fact, my last point would be Ezekiel chapter 36, mm -hmm. verse 26, 27, and 28. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have it. Yeah, please yes. read it. Now, here it's, is what it says. Mm -hmm. A new heart also will I give you. Mm -hmm. A new spirit will I put within you. Mm -hmm. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you a heart of flesh. Mm -hmm. 27. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. And you shall keep my judgments and do them. And now verse 28 gives us the promise. It says that, And you shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. Mm -hmm. So in 2018, let we be God's people, Amen. and he be our God. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Yes. Let's be blessed in the inspiration segment. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Every year, people make resolutions. They write down a wish list of things that they want to do. This wish list is carried along or tugged along a few months and down the road you find the list is normal. According to research, the, the five most common in the wish list are things like wanting to cut, reduce the weight, wanting to reduce the weight, wanting to reduce the weight, or to stop smoking or stop drinking, or to do, to exercise more, or meet with family, meet with family and friends, meet with family and friends a lot more, or even the desire to eradicate debts that could be bothering you. The challenge is that when we make this list, sometimes we don't keep it. So the question we, are, we, we want to bring in as we come to the end of the year is, what are my wish lists? And how do I align them to my mission? If you're a Christian, then you believe in 
Jeremiah 29 verse 11 where the Bible says in Jeremiah Jeremiah 29 verse 11 where the Bible says I know the thoughts that I have for you says the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope then you will call upon me and go and pray and I will listen the Bible says that God has a plan and in that plan he has he has included our future so it will be good to commit our future to the Lord and so when you're doing the new year resolution we should include the mission which is knowing what God's purpose for us is it is important for us to write down our resolutions but involve God involve God in our planning Paul in Philippians 3 verse 12 says I do not consider myself to have apprehended it but one thing I do I forget what lies behind me and press on to the cross pressing on is includes planning and it's a challenge because one of uh, the inspired writers says that we make resolutions but then we're not able to keep the promise or the resolutions we have made and they are like ropes of sand we cannot control our thoughts all our impulses all our affection and the knowledge that we have broken these promises makes us even more guilt so as we come to the end of the year it is important for us to have a new a different way of doing our resolutions and i was proposing that we would spell our personal mission all our purpose instead of writing our list of resolutions by spelling our purpose mission or purpose or by spelling our purpose and mission i mean asking god what am i here in the universe for asking that question and trying to address it from spelling out your own purpose in life like paul says in colossians 1 verse 16 that everything was created by him and for him so the question would be what are you created for and that would be your purpose once you spell out your purpose and then draw out goals that will lead you to their purpose then things will start gravitating around that purpose so the question is not a list of resolutions but spell a spelled out mission what are you in the universe for after spelling it clearly then go down into your knees and pray that god may help you to effect to make it to make it a reality that you may live the purpose for which you have been called for when i was spelling my christian purpose i sat down and realized that i would want to motivate i would want to empower so my purpose is to motivate and empower mankind when you spell that then you'll be looking out for things that help you motivate and empower i don't know what your verbs are but you can choose two verbs that will help you spell out your purpose then write down the goals that you want to achieve the long term and the short term goals that you want to achieve and when god is in it then it will surely be a success that's why he says in john 15 verse 5 starting from verse 1 abide in me and i in you if you abide with if you abide in me then you bear much fruits further down he says without me you can do nothing that means that when you're doing on your resolutions we need to make god part of our resolutions by abiding in him by making him part of our planning it's my prayer that you're going to have a prosperous new year that does not have the stress of trying to fulfill the resolution list that you make but spelling out your purpose 
and in inviting Christ to be part of your purpose for this year. God bless you.